Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we are going to finish one of the most momentous things in our little digital lives that we could ever do and that's becoming a Jedi and making friends. So anyway, I hope you all enjoy and I'll be with you in a moment. Okay. So the temple was where we were at before, but for actually what I'll probably do... Fast travel. I like the music. Oops. Oh, back to the Jedi Temple, like, well, the, where we were at? Like, um... <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Like, so, where the Jedi Council is? Or that building that I couldn't open? Because I could just run back to the Ebon Hawk. And then walk to the Jedi Council from there. Oh, okay. Fast travel. Alright, hey guys, so there's a complication. Oh wait, looks like I have to go down this door. Yep, that's what the map says. Oh no, I don't want to go to the mer merchant. Okay, please get out of the way. Oh my gosh. I like this, the, the, the purple, the purplish pinkish thing we've got going on a lot. Bastila, I could use your help. Well, I'm gonna talk to Greetings, you. young apprentice. Have you come? Oh, wait. Uh -huh. As chronicler, you should. May the fo I should go talk to the other guy, the other guy. Not the council, but the, my teacher. Her master is here? The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Oh, fine, okay. Um... Bash of the card. Dang it, where's the... What was the name? Quarta. Okay, so she's, she's just wandering around somewhere, still alive? Locker. Can I have it? Yay! Oh, but it might be. Well, these look like maybe. Oh, hey! Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council, not some servant. Not Please servant. leave, or I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. That's the guy whose name is, um, like the Metal Fields or whatever. This guy is Solus. See? Sola! I guess I'll talk with him really quick. Achuta! Wongpa! No! Muchashakpa! I, I was tempted to ask that girl around the tree because she's the one who seems to have a, a lot of useful information. Greetings, apprentice. 
Though I understand soon he feels you will attain the... Mm, I'm looking at all the right. I'd say we're here by caves. There are caves on Dantooine that hold those rare crystals. But be warned, Apprentice. They are dangerous. You should not meddle in things beyond you. I wish you luck in your training of... Okay, well, she didn't seem to know anything. Um... That, this is the way to the Jedi... Yeah. Oh, that's the outer courtyard. Outer courtyard. That's the Jedi council chamber. Right? Who is... Zwak. Good day to you. I'm afraid I cannot speak to you at the moment. I apologize. Okay, Do you know anything? Achuta. Uh, difficult to Okay. I guess I could always will know. Hey, you know anything? Yikukono no bamu. Chi gratu loda pograshi oni un compaci tomo mochuba loda di ta kun i da patiso batua kacha tu tonga ka chi kun i da haldonga i king kuno wow tong hai tuam chi chi jum plumpa i ta poe tiki ta kom ju Maybe in here? The beast you won't conquer, Pankpa. Mucha. Achuta. Runda di hotonga ka chiku ita 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 hotonga Oh, well I already used the persuade dialogue option. I have to do it again? Thank <laughs> you. 
You are strong. Stronger than me, even in my turn. I am this. When I slew my master, power enough. Yes, but... <sighs> um... I just want to talk. talk. You who have beat... Uh, I wish you peace. I do not hold any anger towards you, Johanny. I wish you peace. Not anger. Peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. A beautiful young woman who has much talent. That's not going to go over well. The first step on the path of true knowledge is knowing that you are ignorant. I seem to still have much to learn. Both about being a Jedi, and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. Even in death, the Force will allow her to live on... Yeah. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. I think, in my own way, I truly loved her. How can the Council ever take me back with what I've done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. Um, anger, show them that you have freed yourself of this base passion. If I show them, I am This is like a minefield. That I am serene, that I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? <laughs> My character's like bleeding to death and she's like trying to persuade her to come back. Uh, your inner peace and harmony will show them your sincerity. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I'm not a master! I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. If only there was some way I could make this up to you. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Yay! Um, it's fine. I'm just done. Oh, gal. Well, now we've made a friend, sort of. <laughs> I'm trying to move. Yeah. There we go. Mandalorian melee shield. So she seems to have, um... Killed a couple Mandalorians. Save. New cat friend, yay! Let's see. Just turn it all way freaking down. Super down. Okay. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. I don't actually want to talk to you. I want to go back. Go back to the Jedi. Down here. I, my, my biggest fear is that I'm always too loud. Like, I think that's part of the reason why I'm usually pretty, I usually have my mic volume pretty quiet even when I'm turning it up. I'm like, I don't want to yell at people. Plus, plus I tend to yell, so. That would be bad. They're facing each other. Greetings, young apprentice. Oh, As crap. chronicler of the, you should. Okay, I forgot. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. 
Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideal. So being the able to hear me is good. That's she true. Was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed <gasps> your final. I'm a Jedi. Test. Congratulations, apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our order. Sweet. I'm a Jedi. Now what do I do? Oh, what? Oh, this would let me... Oh, okay, so that's basically just a workbench now. So... Now do I talk to you guys? Greetings, young Padawan. Have you come seek uh -huh. as chronicler of the academy here on Dantooine? You should ponder the history. Okay. May the fourth. Um. Oh, okay. So, who do I talk to about that? Oh my gosh. It is good to see Johnny has returned Yay. to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Dantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. Okie dokie. Uh, who happened to the Jedi who went to investigate? We do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? Can you tell me about... Oh. Bastila. Well, Bastila okay. was there. Yep. Yep. Bastila, but Bastila, the way I... What? What? I don't know what I clicked. Add, add Bastula and uh, Karth, I guess, as a soldier. I demand justice. The Central Family is a blight upon. I don't Gantui. know what just happened. They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals. If there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. And you'll only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into his son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. Oh, okay. These two families have been settled here for some years now. And causing me no end of trouble. <laughs> Indeed. They have been settled here for some time, and feuding ever since. Oh my gosh, um... What caused this feud? I do not know how the original feud started, but they want nothing to do with each other. It's like a Romeo and Juliet heard, thing. Alan Matali believes that his son, Shen, has been kidnapped by Nurek Sandral. Curiously, Nurek's son, Cassus, has been missing for some time as well. I fear Nurek may suspect Alan in this. Is there anything else you wish to know? 
why are they settled? Where are they settled? Both families have settled to the south of this enclave. The Matalis are the closer of the two. Both have similar estates. But Alan is much more paranoid about his, and guards it quite heavily. Is there anything else you wish to know? Um, I will investigate it if there is time. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. They must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a minute. <laughs> He's still injured! How bad could it be? Okay, Carr, thank you for your, uh, your input. Uh, <laughs> what the heck? Here, let's, um... Oh, we can't travel to the to my ship from here. Oh, go. Well, I think I'm gonna have to call it here. Um, I gotta get ready for the AFC championships that are gonna happen in about an hour. My team is playing the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> So I gotta go cheer them on, and my dad and I are pretty excited. But hopefully I'll remember to, uh... Here, let's make a... Let's see if I can remind myself. Um... New slot, save, uh... Heal, Karth, E dying. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to forget.